And for more on the terror alert by the U.S. and U.K. government, CEO Security Watch Africa, Patrick Agbambo, joins me from Abuja. Good to have you join us. Let me stop, because I know you are in Abuja, but I will get to um, just updates from you being in the nation's capital. But this particular security alert wasn't just issued um, to Nigeria alone. It was also issued to South Africa. I think um, two places in South Africa, Santin and Johannesburg. Um, the U.S. also you know, sort of give advisory to its nationals to leave if they can. What's your thought on this? Why do you think that at this particular point in time, we're getting this security alert, both in, in South Africa and Nigeria? Yeah, um, first, from a security perspective, I think that um, there are diplomatic channels of passing any information if uh, another country has information uh, that could be a, a threat to another, a fellow friendly country, um, which uh, was never taken undertaken by those countries that are releasing the threat a lot. So um, I think that um, the, the means of communication is um, wrong, uh, but, but that is not to say that um, uh, the security forces uh, should not do anything to strengthen security uh, in case there is a genuine uh, threat attack. Uh, so, and um, South Africa and Nigeria is actually very, very particular because um, when I saw it, and I, 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 I kind of uh, believe that um, it goes beyond security. It goes uh, uh, to some diplomatic, uh, political issues that are going ahead. Uh, and um, it points because we know that the Western world currently are seeking for gas um, to support uh, this, uh, this winter period that is coming. So, mm. and I know that um, the US and uh, South Africa is having some kind of uh, disagreement in some areas, which led to the US government inviting the South African president to visit mm. him. And, and, uh, and, visit. and just so, earlier, Mr. Agbambu, you, you, you re-echo the, the thoughts of the South African president, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, who also said that, look, you sh that, that, that information should have been passed through the diplomatic channels and, and not issuing a security alert on his, on his website. And that, you know, it has yes. a way of causing panic um, amongst the, the people, and they have a better way of passing that information to their people if they have to. But you are in Abuja. Um, t talk to us about the situation of things. Are you satisfied with the security that is on ground, security architecture on ground, um, to forestall any kind of attack if there is? I, 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 I have, I always tell people that Abuja is safe. The security forces are doing all they can to prevent such. Uh, the, the last few weeks, uh, last few months, I must say, they have, they have been instant, they have been constant uh, such alerts, uh, but the security forces have been up to it. There's no threat as we speak. Um, the security forces are carrying out regular raids on suspected hideouts of who, who, which, whichever person that could cause uh, havoc to the people. So they have been carrying this out constantly. And a lot of fake news are just flying about. And one of that I will point to you, um, that um, the Jabi Mall uh, was uh, closed because of the threat alert. But I can assure, I can tell you here, that it wasn't because of threat alert. Uh, they shut down for, for regular maintenance, which they always carried out. And this is the situation. And as we speak now, Javimo has been opened. So, but people are apprehensive because of uh, the caliber of the countries that are uh, releasing such uh, threats and they feel um, it could be possible. But I will advise the security forces to continue in their work to ensure that um, even if there is going to be any threat alert that those people must not succeed. Mr. Agbambu, um, he's the CEO of Security Watch Africa. Thank you so much for um, talking to us.